Hi there, this is uh, Shrikan Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, which is a very uh, introductory uh, tutorial on uh, the Java uh, keyword uh, known as uh, abstract. Okay. So in the following lessons, uh, we will learn about uh, Java programming in depth uh, using all the various uh, keywords. Uh, so roughly Java has some 53 keywords. Uh, which are uh, divided into uh, many categories okay so for example we have different different keywords for different different purposes which have some uh, fixed uh, specific uh, meaning okay some action associated uh, with it okay okay so here we are learning about uh, the abstract keyword uh, by using uh, which we can uh, create an abstract class okay so abstract uh, abstract classes are the one of the most important uh, features in object oriented uh, programming okay so here we have uh, uh, developed a small application uh, a small program we not, should not call as application here so here we have uh, taken total uh, three classes here the first class is going to be the our abstract class okay so the next couple of classes we have uh, here are uh, regular uh, normal classes okay so uh, as we know that the abstract class contains only abstract methods and we cannot instantiate the abstract class we can only implement the abstract methods in the subsequent uh, classes okay so these two classes uh, extends which are extending our abstract class page okay so here we have uh, the abstract class named as page and we have two uh, uh, minor classes or small classes which extends which sole purpose is to um, define the met abstract methods here okay so definitions of the abstract methods uh, here we are uh, doing the subsequent uh, child classes here okay so uh, we have uh, uh, ab uh, defined the abstract method in two uh, subsequent classes in the first one we have uh, some logic okay which is uh, not doesn't matter to us uh, just article dot open since it is uh, saying since it contains within the class article here and also we have the posts class which has also uh, uh, defined the abstract method uh, which is open here okay so coming to the uh, main class here uh, sorry uh, some coming to the uh, main class where we are going to create uh, or instantiate those classes here okay so here for the first instance we are creating an object to the class uh, page here okay so for we are taking the abstract we are creating an uh, instance to the class abstract okay so apps uh, we are we are uh, not we are cannot directly create a page here okay so if uh, we can only uh, store the reference of the subsequent classes here okay so that's what we have done here so here we have taken a page and we have uh, used the reference of uh, the child class here uh, and if you are uh, using that object uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, this method uh, whatever the definition uh, extend uh, this uh, class extends gets called here okay so and in the same way we, if we are uh, instantiating uh, the abstract class with the reference of uh, another uh, child class here which is uh, post and if you uh, with that reference uh, if you call that open method uh, we get this uh, method executed here okay so if you uh, execute if i execute this program you will get the perfect idea so if i execute the program uh, one second i'm just let me maximize the uh, window here it's a very quite easy task just making the output window more uh, viewable here okay so here we have uh, article dot open and article dot post here okay so let me come out of this output here once again let me execute the program so here we are uh, so first output the first line of the output says that article dot open okay so it's quite obvious that uh, we have the reference of article class uh, within our abstract uh, object within the abstract uh, object here and that's the reason uh, whatever the method implementation uh, done in the article uh, class gets called here so that's what we have uh, called as output here the article dot open okay so whatever the logic we have written within the uh, article dot open uh, so article article class uh, method uh, we get that as output and also in the same way uh, if you come back to the next output here which is post dot open uh, so here we have uh, the post dot method so next obviously we have that we have created another object uh, for the abstract class we cannot which we cannot do directly uh, here we have used the reference of uh, another uh, uh, child class okay which is known as uh, extend another class which extends our abstract class which is post and whatever the method implementation whatever the logic uh, that contains within that method implementation of the abstract method open that's what we have uh, got in the 
output here okay so this is the uh, beauty of uh, so abstract classes here okay so if we execute once again the program the output is very obvious here okay so whatever the uh, method implementations uh, we have within that particular uh, class which extends the abstract class has uh, got here okay so this is the very uh, basic uh, example of uh, the class abstract uh, class abstract abstract class sorry using the keyword uh, abstract here okay so hope you like the tutorial uh, i i would like love to hear uh, the comments or uh, ex or you can express your doubts in the comments section so see you in the next lesson goodbye